Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and we are going to be doing a solo Nightfall run. Now, the Nightfall I'm going to be running, at least the first one this week, is going to be the Hollowed Lair, just because I know it's a newer strike for some, and the idea of soloing this one seems a little daunting, just because the crazy amount of enemies, especially in the final room. But it is worth trying to grind this one out, because there is a pretty valuable shotgun from it. Pretty cool one that you can get some good rolls on, so may try and see if I can get that one with a couple attempts. Um, but also definitely want to get this guide out for you guys, mostly for solo completion. This is not going to be a guide for the 100,000 point run. That would be separate. If you're going to do the 100,000 points, I know solo is possible. I've seen a couple others do it, but generally I'm going for completion first. I'll work on the solos when I have more 600 level options where I can really drop my power level and kind of figure out if there's a good strike that's going to be soloable. Because some like, you know, you get a variety. Most all shields are going to be one thing. So I'm energy slot. I go there. It's not too bad. Um... But it just kind of depends on the room. I know this one is one that I don't know as well, so I want to give you guys at least a completion run on it. Solar Singe is my general advice on this one, mostly just because you don't fight too much solar. There is some. Obviously, the big Scorn guys are holding the two big torches. Don't let those smack you around. That'll hurt. Um, and also, there's there are some solar shields. There are some arc shields. The arc shields are probably the worst. Um, you're not going to fight too many arc shields in the final room, which is generally good. They don't tend to have a whole lot of shields in the final room, which is nice. Uh, but it's the chieftains or whatever they're called. Uh, the arc shielded ones of those and both chieftains that fire all those little bouncing arc grenades are probably the most annoying thing. That's why you do not want to go arc. Void, there's quite a few things that are going to hit you with void as well. The snipers and things like that. So solar is actually your best option. Now the big tank is solar. Just don't get smashed by the tank. It's my only advice for that. If you're going for a completion, heavyweight is just usually the easy way to go. Power weapons do more, heavy, up, heavy weapon ammo is more frequently dropped, and then I feel like I've been getting heavy ammo more frequently, so that's something that seems to be a bit more viable as well. My build is going to be Sunbreaker, go in top tree just for hammer strike, which I probably won't really use, uh, but I do like the shoulder charge in the moments if somebody's close. If I gotta, you know, go play chicken with somebody, I'm probably gonna win with shoulder charge. Uh, but generally, that's a good one. Thermite Grenade, Tower Barricade, mostly because I'm not too worried about reloading as opposed to probably staying defended on this one because mobility and line of sight can be a bit tough. Go figure. Uh, this is just my laser beam. I am on PC, just in case that wasn't clear by the uh, descriptions down here. But this one for me, and I hear on console it's not quite as good, but I got a Range Perk, Outlaw, Rampage, Appended Magazine... And it could go either way, but that's really kind of either here nor there. And I got a long zoom scope. So the range on mine is nearly maxed, which is crazy. So I kind of went for it. It's been a laser beam for me. I do love this thing. Now, this is probably the big, giant, controversial thing that I'll choose. But for me, it actually kind of worked. Uh, I did a run on this, kind of a test run last week, and it actually is the same strike, so I get to do it again. Um, Sunshot actually worked pretty well, surprisingly. Now, the main place where Sunshot has its benefit due to its explosions is when you have, you know, like 30 enemies running at you. Well, try and get them to funnel into some stairs and shoot the sun Sunshot at some of the smaller guys. Those explosions chain, and I've killed, it feels like, 20 people with one or two shots. So, while Sunshot may not be the most powerful, it is a hand cannon for that mid to close range if I do need to pop somebody. It is solar, which I feel like there's not a ton of solar options. I mean, even if you go up here to your collections... Exotics, energy slots. I mean, you have Lord of Wolves, it's not that far range. Polaris Lance, Scout Rifle's got a buff, but sadly the um, Perfect Fifth, the exotic thing, is broken right now. Prometheus Lens might actually be okay. Um, you can't quite have as much ammo with it. Hard Light might be alright. Uh, Skyburner's Oath, again, more at range. But for me, I actually just kind of had some fun with this one. So it is your choice, of course, what you want to run with. This is just what kind of worked for me. Also from Iron Banner, I got a Roar of the Bear with tracking and rangefinder. So the thing just is really fast. Uh, velocity is decently up there. Reload speed's cool. Um, so overall, just a quick rocket launcher with tracking in those moments where I just kind of want to blast something big. That's what I got it for. So that is my build. I know Sunshot is kind of one that not everybody may have, but I think most of you have. And mine is not quite masterworked yet. It's got the Catalyst, which is going to help drop some orbs, but... Um, definitely not finished with the masterwork yet, which is going to be really nice, as you can tell the stats, the range, and stability. Once I do finish this thing up, which is taking me about 20 years, when I finally get it, I'll probably be on Destiny 3. But other than that, I think that'll pretty much wrap up the intro. So, Hollowed Lair Strike, 
completion only, not 100,000 points. Here we go. All right, Guardians, so once you come in, you can skip most of this early part, especially if you're going for points or time. Just drive right by it. There's nothing here you technically have to shoot. I mean, if there was a public event, I might hit the rally flag, something like that. But overall here, there's nothing you need to shoot and just try and get by it as quick as you can. Because unfortunately, you don't get points from there either. Oh, I'm going to die. Whew, barely made that one. Okay. So now once you're in here, you can actually start getting points, which is a good thing. Uh, I've got a medium modifier on, nothing crazy. But just going to start picking these guys off from range. Hang back here around this corner in case you feel like you get overwhelmed. You've got some places to retreat to. Now this is why you'll notice the solar is a bit hard. But it's more the raiders at range that are going to hurt more. Because they're void. The stalkers, not quite so bad. But those guys do definitely hurt a little bit. Outlaw, rampage again. Modifiers. Oh, you have to hit down and up. Those track pursuits really get annoying. Kind of wondered how that would eventually go away. Figured that one out midstream, so good stuff. Got some more guys to spawn. May as well use my grenade. Now, if you have something like um, Hallowfire Heart for a Titan, that'd probably be pretty good. Not sure for other ones what I would use. But for a Titan, Hallowfire Heart might be good if you got it. But again, typically not using exotics for you guys because I don't know what you have, so... Typically, don't just throw stuff in there. But if you do have it, that's not going to hurt anything for sure. Couple adds up there. And again, those explosions will really start to get to be a lot of fun. Now, I want you guys to tell me if you feel like Sunshot changed. Because when I'm shooting stuff with this gun now, it feels like... Oh, that sound with Sunshot... Like, I can shoot here. I don't hear anything major. But if I shoot a wall... It sounds like the shot got, like, amplified. It's very odd. So if you guys... Have a sunshot, want to test that. I know something changed. I just don't know if it's intentional by Bungie or not. And the most annoying guys in this entire strike are right there. So what do I do to the most annoying guys? Shoot them in the rocket and hopefully kill them in one shot. Now these guys are a bit fun, but lots of explosions work well. And the nice thing is to get some orbs. But yeah, the, explo the hit on this gun sounds so weird to me and I can't quite figure it out. It's like the hit's amplified, or something's overdone. I love how when I'm shooting the lurkers, their shield sounds like I'm hitting like tinfoil. Alright, a couple orbs out here. Super's full anyway, so we're good. Tracking and cluster. Oh man, I did not know the roar can actually get tracking cluster. Heads up, uh, just FYI, if you have some tokens, apparently this thing can go god roll as well. And go solar, which definitely a good thing, because the god roll from... Um, Oh, uh, what am I thinking of? Gambit is void, so a tracking tracking cluster rocket launcher, yeah, that'd be even better. So, well, your roll's better than mine. I would definitely say enjoy it. So, as you can tell, Fnatic shows him this dude's got to die, so let's go ahead and put some damage into him. This actually might even be a good time for my super, but Heavyweight's going to put some work in. It's about half the damage. Got him started. Actually, this worked pretty well. If you were back far enough, the arc of his flamethrower can't really do anything. He'll just stand on the bridge, take your bullets, and the arc of his flamethrower can't get you down here. So if you're back far enough, you can see his head. Nothing else. I know this is boring, but he's dead. Cool. All right. Grab my ammo. Grab my orb. If you have something like Rocket Launcher Scavenger or Reserves, even better. Because by all means, not going to hurt anything. But yeah, these explosions actually did pretty well for me. It was an odd choice, I know, and this is where I kind of got overwhelmed last time. If you feel like you got to retreat, just do it. This is kind of one of those times I want to show you guys how far back you can go. You're like, hey, I feel like I'm overwhelmed. Okay, pull back. Shoot stuff later. Don't die by explosive things like those. Now, ah, oh, I didn't actually want to die there, but, you know, it's not at a respawn restricted point. I think that starts at the tank. Oh, the respawn in this takes forever, though. Well, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, thank you guys for tuning in. You can always follow me on Twitch or Twitter, Twitter as well. Words are hard. Twitch or Twitter as well. Glad I had a whole 15 seconds to get that out because that was terrible. All right. Let's try this again from a little farther back this time. So, yeah. Snipey in the back is definitely one you want to watch out for. And so are these guys, the Corrupted Wrath. These are the ones that hurt. So, this is where you're going to want to unload with anything you got of power. Still going to be charging you in the head. 
like he's gonna die. He even dropped me some heavy ammo. So heavy ammo is dropping like crazy. That dude is on fire right now. Yeah, corrupted raider definitely hurts. So watch those shots. Yeah. So don't die to the guy I nearly died to twice. Just you know, small piece of advice. Now I got some rockets, so I can have a little bit of fun in here with these. There we go. Use the rockets because they're dropping. Regular Raider doesn't seem to kill me quite as bad. Big boys, those hurt. And so does a lot of fire. There's not really a great singe that you can always be safe on because generally, Scorn, they do it all. Whether it's Arc, whether it's Void, whether it's Solar. Solar seems to be the less of all the evils, in my opinion, but uh, that's also your choice to figure out. Quitters well. Now we're respawn restricted, and we're going to be... Mowing some guys down from range first, just some stalkers, nothing crazy. This is where Rampage starts to come into effect of being very beneficial. Just mowing these guys down. The most annoying one is the Chieftain in the back. So this is, again, don't like to waste too much time on him if I can help it, because those arc shots hurt. And he moved. Good job, sir. Nice dodging abilities. But a direct hit with a grenade with a rocket launcher does tend to do the work you need to. Now you got a couple guys in the back, watch for those. Snipers. And again, they're corrupted. Those guys hurt. You got two, if one's gonna hide, go take care of the other one. Just strafe a little while you're fighting these guys and then they're not quite so bad. Till they do that. There. And... Come on. Face me. Thank you. Now, this is a tough room. I've had some instances because as soon as the tank comes out, this door will shut and you're stuck in here. But you're still probably safe, honestly, about right back here. This is probably your safest spot. You have a decent amount of cover. You can manage the guys from here. Not much is going to get you from range. And the tank is, tank is going to kind of be behind enough stuff. What's up, Dr. Gringo? How's it going? And Hank Matt, thank you for that info on the roar. That is an amazing roll. I hope I get if you guys are watching this live, thank you. If you guys are watching this later, well, you know, you get the archive show, but still good stuff. All right, so you're going to be mowing, mowing some guys down from a distance as they come to you. Tank will slowly creep his way out. Just take your time. Be safe and cautious in this line back here behind this thing. But also watch your right side. Stuff will start to creep over there as more and more things spawn. Now, if you do want to do some damage to the walker, grenades will not do go crazy since I'm not on Grenadier, but they're still going to be pretty effective. Now you're going to have some more of these Corrupted Raiders. Watch for those. And then also you're going to have some guys to start appearing in this little dome over here. And again, this is why I love this gun. So good. Rampage. Just mowing them down. There we go. Now, I got some damage done. To, I got absolutely no damage. I completely whiffed. Now those rockets are going to fire. Duck. And you are indeed safe. So, whether you want to go rocket fun... <clears throat> which will definitely do some damage. This is why I'm back here. At least I know I'm safe. Now, if you go hammer or something like that, might be alright. Watch for the raiders. Just make sure those are taken out. And just make sure you're not getting hit, because they want to kill just about everything that you're standing near. Now, I might just go super here, see if I can get some damage on the big walker. With some cover. Now you're going to probably have some ads coming out. There is a chieftain over there who wants to die. One raider. Use this as a time to grab some ammo if you need it. Get some vantage point. He's up again. And just be careful and move. Now usually once you do enough damage to him, you'll get some more ads to spawn. That's why again, using heavyweight is nice. Now usually there's a scorch cannon up in the front, but I'm not sure if it's actually up there. I'm also not gutsy enough to go find out. Alright, so as these guys start to run at you, shoot their little urns. Remember, these are the tough ones. And this is also where Sunshot comes into play really well. Like one shot, and these guys just explode. Heads just keep blowing up. Couple over here. And again, those explosions really seem to work fairly well. More than I ever expected they would. So if you get in a point where people are getting closer, switch over. Don't worry about your Sunshot being useless. It's honestly pretty powerful. That's why I picked it. Raider, one down. There we go. Got another one over here. Oh, got this guy. 
even more with Outlaw. Let's see if I can drop this guy. Oh, he's hiding. Excuse me. Need to shoot you in the head. There we go. Alright, so got a couple of rockets to throw here. Kind of weave it in the middle. See if I can lock actually onto the walker, not one of the little guys. And again, if you see the rockets, kind of why I'm back here. Seems to be a fairly safe place to stand. Less to worry about in the grand scheme of being getting your head blown off by some giant rocket machine. Now, if I can get a grenade out there, I'm not sure that's going to go far enough, but we're going to find out. Well, I'm hitting something. Ooh, those will probably kill you. Since Solar Singe is on, it's probably going to do some work to you, so just be careful about that. Probably going to have some other guys in here. If there's another Chieftain up, just be careful. I'm going to see who's up here on the side over here. Yeah, so on the Nightfall, you do not get a Scorch Cannon, which is a bummer. That's less fun. Now, I'm not gutsy enough to go in there and try and uh, do anything like Crazy Town, as in trying to actually melee this guy. But now that he's down, I might try it. Can I kill him fast enough? Probably not. Nope. Well, we almost there. How about a big shot to the head? Now, if this thing had cluster bombs, it would be over for that rock guy. Oh, really? He keeps falling down. I'm just trying not to die. It, he keeps making uh, my life a bit more annoying here. All right. Just die. Finish it up. Come on. I'm shooting like your knee. Oh, come on. All right. It's going to take one more. Just die already. Thank you. You are down. That's not the fastest run in the world, but at least he is done. All right. Onward. Whoa. Reyna, thank you for the Twitch sub. I appreciate that. Some people are just like, hey, thanks for the Twitch sub. Honestly, for me, everyone, I'm smaller than some other people, so they all mean a lot to me, guys, so thank you. Nice grenade here will work well, especially so you can deal with big guy running at you. He's a bit scary. Devoted to, uh, of the fanatic. I understand you're devoted. Doesn't mean I'm going to let you live any longer. Plenty of rockets still coming, which is good. They seem to pick up in twos, which is nice. Back up from this wall. Apparently I can't shoot through, but they can shoot through. And if you feel like you get overrun, again, this is kind of my one advice. Unless there's certain rooms where you cannot get out of, just know that you can sometimes back up farther than you think. Apparently heavy is just raining down. I don't even think I have, like, heavy ammo finder on, which... Sadly, I hear right now is a good thing, unless they patched it recently, but yeah, Heavy Ammo Finder, not doing what it's supposed to be doing right now. So if you have it on, I almost would take it off unless they confirm otherwise, but, and depending on when you watch this, it may have changed, but just check into the status of Heavy Ammo Finder, see where things are at before you just depend on it, because I, at, there's a point where it was actually working backwards, so just know that it's definitely possible to be incorrect. Now that dude actually had a solar shield, so I could have dropped him otherwise. But it is the chieftains that ruin your day. And that right there is why you do not make this an arc singe, I promise you. Alright, so where is one guy? And that was a hard left. Nice turn. Alright, make sure things are clear. I think I've got a few ads still. And we're going to go hit the platforms once we kind of come up here. That was overkill, but still fun to do. I love how Shoulder Charge is at least powerful again. I mean, I know it kills in PvP in a one-shot, but I'm glad it actually does it in PvE as well. Uh, it hits really hard. I'm going to start with this one. It honestly really doesn't matter. Just be aware as you stand on these things, enemies will spawn, and you're just going to have to be aware of what comes out and just start shooting them. Now, when you come out, you're going to be open on certain sides, like typically in front of you at first. So just be aware of what's coming in front of you. This one seems to be a bit more exposed in the front. The one on the right seems to go in pieces, so maybe that one's a little easier, but you know, if I kill more of the ads here first, it might be a little better. Again, this gun is crazy powerful. All right, so one down there. Going to have some chieftains come in. And again, this is the point where you can pull back as absolutely far as you need. There's no reason you can't run all the way down that hallway and pick up some ammo if you need it. Because honestly, sometimes that may be what you feel like you want to do. I feel like Rampage times 3 when I'm working on certain enemies is like almost cheating. 
I mean, I know it's a perk, but man, it's powerful at times. Where is Mr. Chieftain? He gets to die by glorious fire. Reload faster. Still got him. Is there another Chieftain or just a few random ads? Stalker, you're fine. You're fine. There's the other one. See, there's just enough. And they hurt a lot. There we go. And heavy ammo just seems to be raining down, so I'm good on that as well. Got one guy who is hell-bent on chasing me, too. Alright. Platform number two. There is a triumph, by the way. If you have two people in the strike, actually have the platforms land within five seconds of each other. Something like that, or almost at the same time. If you do them together, you're in pretty good shape. It's a triumph, so... Just keep that in mind if you're working on stuff. It's one of those that might be hidden or secret. And once you get some of these guys taken out in front, just know you'll have some enemies coming over here to your left. This little, like, window kind of tends to be a factor. And then once we're flat on the ground, pull back. Just for safekeeping. And defeat the Vengeful Hand. That's going to be Big Ogre Man of Fun. Trying to see if there's any major adds or just little ones. But the Vengeful Hand is going to be way in the back. Now these guys basically are snipers, so your range is going to be important. And if you can kill him, the rest of the guys kind of go down. So once he creeps forward, which I think, as long as my depth perception is manageable, it's a good chunk. And these guys are going to be coming to you, so keep them occupied for a little bit. A couple stalkers. You can put some damage into him, but he takes a lot of work. There we go. Now, they basically snipe, and they're also arcs. So they're another reason why you don't really want to do anything too far at range. But, if you just need to sit back here and whittle them down, you absolutely can. Take your time. Excuse you. Back off. Can I shoot through? There. Alright, let's creep up, kill a few of these adds before they get too aggressive. Really, guy? I'm just going to hang over here. Got some kind words going on in chat right now, so thank you guys all for those. Very, very much appreciated. Hey, did some work with my grenade. I feel like that totally just missed. So I can kill a few of these guys. Get a little uh, multiplier on my damage here. Get that rampage damage. Yeah, he hurts like a whole bunch. That's why I was like, I would not get aggressive with him. I might go hammers, actually, here in a second. I should get a decent chunk of damage with that. But I am taking some damage at the same time, so just watch your health. I didn't even get that much. Now, once he gets down to a lower health, you will get more adds to spawn. So, again, pull back in the tunnel if you need it. I'm going to go grab some heavy just because it's sitting back here staring at me, so I may as well. Take my time. And again, not going for a crazy high points run. And if I die a lot in the boss room, then of course it's not going to be a high points run. But I'm at 45,000, so, you know, could be better, could be worse. Where all the ads went, I don't actually know. They're just chilling out here. That's cool. But again, as long as you're out of his basic sniper range, you should do relatively okay. Just try not to get too close to him and you'll be all right. Got a chieftain down there. And I'm going to just work him down from range. And again, this is not a sniper. Could go a little faster if you got something like Sleeper. But I will honestly show you guys when we get to the final room just why I honestly enjoy... There's so many chieftains out there. Don't even want to get close to that. So they're going to shoot those little bouncy grenades. This guy just takes a little while. And if I run out of ammo, that is going to be a big bummer. It's amazing how much health some of these guys have. It's kind of ridiculous sometimes, too. Closer I get, I'm flirting with the, or the range where he can do damage to me. I actually staggered him after 4,000 bullets. That was cute. Yay! Finally died. And everything should dissipate in here. I think they go away. If they don't, be careful. Yeah, they're void, unfortunately, so I'm not sure it's much besides just grab some ammo and run. Because, yeah, those guys are not going to be nice and try not to die to them. Got some heavy, which is good. I'm going to keep going and ignore him. Excuse me. Don't kill me. That's a lot of fire. All right. They should stay back there. If they chase you, well, all I can say is just pop a shield, pop a super, 
find a way to survive it, or throw a grenade when you need to. So these are the guys, the lurkers, that will actually fire the solar damage at you. But when you get one explosion, you get more than one explosion, so that's always fun. And the heavy ammo is just raining down. Now, you're going to have some ads up ahead. There's a wanted guy who's worth no points, and I really wish they would change that. Well, you guys get to die that way. That's overkill. Where's big boy in the back? All right. So, you can go this way, straight ahead, if you so desire. There's the wanted guy. Has some health, though, I will definitely tell you. Not really worth your uh, time in killing him. Especially because you can definitely get absolutely worked. But if you can kill him, cool. If not, it's not world ending. He's probably going to run before I can do anything to him. That is not the wanted guy. That was a wasted rocket. The wanted guy is still up there, actually. Stand still. Stand still. Did he leave? Not yet. I actually kind of want to kill him since I'm this close. Oh, come on. Is he going to leave? No, I want to kill you. I do want to actually kill you. Oh, oh, hi. Here's where it gets to be fun. Chase me, chase me, chase me. Come on. Okay, this is just going really poorly right now. Alright, super time. Okay. If I can actually get one kill, they would all chain really well, but apparently they're just not going to do it. The wanted guy still around? He probably left. Alright. Wanted enemy's about to escape. Yeah, where'd he go? He's not in here still. Oh, yeah, he is. You know, I probably nearly killed myself on that barrel right in front of me, but oh well. So, scary moment aside, that usually works a little better when I have a bit more space to work with. But yeah, the boss room, it can work well. I'll just have to prove it to you guys. Good morning, everybody in Twitch. Some of you guys are watching this live, so thank you for tuning in. And also, thank you for just kind of everything going on lately on the channel, on Twitch, the follows, the views. You know, you guys are, you guys are all awesome, so thank you very much. Arc rocket launcher. I don't even get to see what the rolls are. Sad day. Lunchtime, grind time for all you guys. Wherever you're at. I don't know if you got lunch. I don't know if you're on break. Apparently the little flamethrowers are non-existent in this area. How are my frames doing? So far, so good. No noticeable frame drops. I'm streaming and doing stuff at the same time on the same computer. So if there are a few hiccups in the video, I apologize. But so far, everything seems to be managing it pretty well. And we're at the boss room. So, it's kind of a slow run to the boss room. More of a safe run. Um, but, basically what's going to happen, we're going to have the boss in the middle. You're going to manage your cover from both sides. Enemies are going to spawn from both sides. So, just kind of stay mobile. He doesn't, like, miss. Like, ever. So, my typical places of cover, because I actually have to run in the middle to actually spawn him. I mean, you're going to use your major pieces of cover, like here, obviously. When the big waves of ads, they spawn just kind of all over the place, but mostly from the front. This is actually a really good point right here on the stairs, because he'll be somewhere in the middle. You can kind of bounce to where you can shoot his head, get a little range, but as his gun is kind of lower down in his hand, it won't hit you. So keep this one in mind over here. And then around this side of the room, this one rotates and can be beneficial. So, I mean, if I'm, like, peeking through here, sometimes he can't shoot me as well. But your solid piece of cover is, of course, the big machine here. And you just kind of got to stay mobile around the room. It's a big circle. If you need to traverse, make sure. I mean, you can run all the way back here in the back. Hide behind these for a second. They're not going to explode or anything. Um, and just make your way around the room and just go to the opposite side of him. Uh, one thing about having heavy ammo is going to be, that's pretty much what I use to break uh, his tether. Because a grenade might do it if you can get it one placed well. But as you do tend to get a lot of heavy ammo, it's a nice way to break his, um, basically tether on you. And then you can drop down and do what you need to. If you do absolutely need to get out of your tether, you can pop a super. But I do try and save that for the big waves of ads. So let's go ahead and make him angry. And we'll get this thing going. If for some reason I die, I'll cut back to here. So, he's here. Now, the ads first do spawn on 
I think typically the opposite side that I'm on. Actually, I think they spawn over here. So you can just whittle him down. And again, this is what I mean by he doesn't miss. Now, the one thing you do want to watch out for his abilities is the big arc circle on the ground. When he does that, yep, they spawn on that side first. So stay in cover, pick him off. There's the heavy ammo I'm talking about, just raining down over there. And again, just manage your cover, manage him. He will always kind of be moving a little bit. But just hang right here. Now, there's the big arc shield on the ground where you do have to move your cover. This thing moves, but it is still a viable piece of cover, even if it is uh, sometimes changing. Just, you know, watch your right side. But this is also why I feel like you can actually use it as cover, because he's going to hit the thing in front of me, and I can still shoot him. Now, you might have one or two more guys if they hang on the other side long enough that they might come join you. And again, just watch for them to join you. So the next set of ads are going to be on this side, so at some point I'm going to try and move cover. Watch him, wait for him to fire. He doesn't fire. He fires pretty quick, and he's usually very lay accurate. How he actually missed me there, I'm not entirely sure. Grenade, I'm literally saving basically all of my abilities. I say he doesn't miss and he hasn't hit me once. This is weird. But again, the big circle of arc energy, don't stand in that. And this is another reason why you don't turn arcs in, John, because that's just a quick way to get your butt melted off. But you have usually a decent amount of room on both platforms if he's got an arc circle to hide. Either left or right, or in this one you can go front or back. Just kind of depending. I usually, again, as I said, try and hang over here. Because depending on where he rotates you, you can manage your cover. And just work him down slowly. Now, there are no chieftains. You got the ads spawning, so I can see those over there. So again, use this lower piece of cover over here. Melt some of these guys down. Outlaw Rampage, making this a little too easy, but I'm not going to argue. Now, the Corrupted Raiders, again, these are tough guys to watch out for. So if you see them, if you got to, you know, super grenade them, whatever you got to do. Now, he typically won't circle all the way up on a ramp. If he does, that'll be a first. But, you know, of course, why not have a first in a video? Sure. Usually, he will eventually be limited to where he can stand. He doesn't typically go all the way up on the platforms. But just work your cover, kind of work your angles. Like, if you can hit his head and just barely be out of the line of sight of his gun. I say gun. It's a giant, like spear of energy that he's holding now if you do want to move the process along hitting him for 90,000 we'll step up to the next you know piece of the round all right and immunity phase one I love these parts and by love I mean absolutely can't stand them so here's the fun part and this is where I'm gonna show you guys how this works those chains go for a while now you got to stay mobile but the idea is if you stay moving and mobile he's not out there so you have the ads shooting you so just move they typically have to run upstairs so something like this grenades will work and then as they start climbing up the stairs get them going and they just explode all the time and a lot and it works pretty well now you're going to usually get about a second wave of ads, so be careful, be moving. They're all over. All those guys are coming. So, and this is why the chaining explosions work so wonderfully well. These guys start them too sometimes for you. Now there will be a chieftain. That's where the rocket launcher will usually come into play. But just stay moving for a little bit. Use this as a time to reload, try and get them to line up some way, shape, fashion, or form, and then start the chain of fun. And those explosions do tend to work. Surprise, surprise, big boy. I'm not even wasting any time on the Chieftain. I'm just going to straight up rocket him once I get to a safe spot. Some of you guys may be like, well, that looks easy on PC. I will agree there are some definite advantages to PC. No argument there. Where is Guy? Oh, you, you dodged that really well. All right. Dude, that guy is on fire for dodging. Somebody needs to give him some juke skills. A little NBA contract. Thank you. Now, he's going to come out. He's probably going to tether me pretty soon. So play your cover again here. Watch the positioning. And again, for working him down. You can't go fast, you can't go slow. Watch as this cover will rotate. You may have more or less cover. 
Stay mobile, moving, always, all the time, just aware of your surroundings, big circle. Time to move, hurt a little bit. He gets to do things a little bit faster, I feel like, those arc circles that tend to get going a little quicker than before. I mean, you can fire some rockets at him. It's not a bad way to do it. I feel like I need to go to the other side to check on my hub, and I'm just gonna run it. Screw it, here we go. Also, I like the charge so I can cover that ground. There's a couple more rockets. I can probably blow a few into his face. Hi, how's it going? Enjoy. Oh, see, and that's the problem with anything big is the fact that like as soon as you pull him immune and here's why I have a rocket. Now, let's see what if a grenade will actually work him down before I get there. There, big thing is however close you get, get out of his area quickly. See, we got ads coming, so back up. And this is where I use this staircase for cover for some of the ads. Try and catch their attention. You can almost pull them back. And then once the big circle's gone of lightning death, we're going to go around the outside to the other side. And just work the ads from here. Hello. They're all over there. Well, you guys are just huddling around your boss, aren't you? I got you, sir. I have your back. Even though I'm literally behind you. And he's in front of you. But that's fine. Duck over here, any more abs? I feel like there's like, yep, there's one. Little explosion there. Just a whole bunch of lightning. But if you can't tell, if he's immune again, see, this is why it's annoying. Don't do anything big or major. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Tethered. Now, if you want to break out of tether, you can go super. And you absolutely will break out of the tether. And also, if you have big stuff to kill, like raiders, or some you know, chieftains, that's a good way to do it. But that's another way. Any super will break you out of his tether and there is nothing he can do about it. So just again, Ad's going to the other side. Watch the Corrupted Raiders. Those guys are rough. He's a bit more mobile now. Seems to have a little more pep in his step. And he's really angry, isn't he? Whew. Stalkers aren't so bad. Just anything with decent precision, you'll kill him. If you have issues with lighting and, um, I should probably put a warning on the front of this video for that one right there. There's an explosion. I know this isn't the fastest fight. I know I'm down to zero points. I told you this is not a points run, so sorry if that's what you came for. This is for those of you guys who just want to finish the nightfall and possibly get a method to be able to farm. Now, if you have three people in here, yeah, this thing could go quick. Soloing this thing, I could see difficult just because these immune phases are literally going to time lock you out of stuff, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Let's bring on another immune phase. Watch how much damage. 9,000. That thing, when it hits for full, is 90,000. So, again, time for the fun part. <clears throat> Here they come. And again, get a few groups, line them up. Run around the room. Eventually the stairs will work in your favor. See if you can get them coming up. And just start the train. Whole bunch of stuff dies that way. But Sunshot, actually, I really like how this gun is finding a nice little purpose here. Good explosions. Okay, that was not all. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, turn around. Let's go. Well, I know some of those are the big or like things that the um, guys carrying the urns have, but this guy's the one scaring me. At least I staggered him for a second. That dude is willing to die for his cause. That is for sure. Last one, and then round two. So many heavyweight boxes, which is good. I feel like that got a bit of a buff recently. Oh, 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 something hurt. Oh, big boy's in the middle. That's the problem. All right. Find your cover from him. He's going to sting for a while. I need some health. I need to pop super just so I don't die on him. Just so I can cover some ground here. I need big guy in the middle down. He hurts so much.
I need to find a place for two seconds to get me some damn cover. There, some health. Now, can I shoot him with a rocket? Yes. I don't know if it'll kill him. Oh, that definitely killed him. All right, sweet. As I said, stay moving, stay mobile, and enjoy the explosions of fun. Try and cause the ones that you can, or aim for the urns when possible. So now it's just kind of immunity breaks between rockets at this point, because that is the big wave phase two. Try not to rocket yourself at this point. That's just a bad way to lose them around. Those start coming more frequently as well, by the way. And he's immune again. Oh, aren't you a fun boss? You seem to make the fight fair. Tether. No, mo no longer tethered. Oh, we got more ads coming too. This is cute. Here, let's see if I can grenade rocket all these guys. Try and find some decent cover. That was closer than I wanted it to be. Oh, he can actually overlap circles. I was kind of thinking he couldn't. Another grenade. A rocket, I should say. The nice thing about a tracking one, I don't even have to hardly aim, and it will get to him eventually. Watch for your raiders. Those guys will try and snipe you. Oh, man. Well, I guess the tether pulled me out. Going to the other side now. Grab an ammo. Might even shoulder charge this guy. What's up, man? Oh, nope. No shoulder charge for you. Alright, so I might duck on this ledge here, try and take these guys out, the far ads. Check your radar, you're gonna have some ads behind. Gotta move. Welcome to my shoulder charge. Ow, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die. Wall of fun here, gonna need it. Oh, man. Give me just a little recovery. If I die now, this will suck. No, 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 no. Oh. oh my gosh. By the skin on my teeth right now. Ooh, man, that's close. Move, 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 move. Hold you staying mobile. Dude, that guy is on my butt. I'm impressive. I'm impressive. I'm not impressive. That dude's impressive. Whew. Okay. Um, tech, catch a breath here. Oh, you are just not cool. Not you. I want you to die. I need you to die. I'm just going to go super again so I don't die. Sorry, guys. The ability for me to move my mouse on PC probably makes watching it really hard. Oh, yeah, this final part of the fight is kind of brutal. Yeah, let's move. I mean, the music definitely picked up in pace, that's for sure. This is what I would call less than optimal, but it did happen. Oh, come on. One rocket and you're dead. You're mine. Done. Whew. Well, that's not how, what I would call a smooth run. But, that is how you can finish it. And that is the hollowed lair. Not the smoothest in the world. Did I get the shotgun? Nope. And definitely not. Nope, no shotgun here. Whole bunch of other stuff. All right, well, thank you guys uh, for tuning in. If you are on Twitch, you can stay right where you're at. But if you guys are on YouTube, thank you guys. Hope this guide is helpful for you. I know the last part's like a whole bunch of running around in a circle. So if you have something a little more powerful, it might kill him quicker. Uh, but his immunity phases versus what your heavyweight is going to do is kind of a toss-up for you. Whisper might be powerful if you've got it. Um, Sleeper, of course, is still going to hit like a truck. Uh, Blade Barrage is probably going to be a nice way to finish him up. So you have quite a few options that you can use, uh, but generally, Solar, while it does seem a little crazy, is still probably going to be your best option. Between the Void Snipers and the Arc everywhere, Solar still seems to probably be the best thing that you can do. And then if you don't want to run Sunshot, run whatever you want. Just figure out what works best for you. Uh, but the explosions from sun sun Sunshot do have their benefits, so that's kind of why I wanted to go with it. Don't use that gun very often, but I found a use. So thank you guys all for tuning in. And honestly, thank you all for the support recently. It's been awesome. Um, but you can follow me on Twitch or Twitter. Both of those are an option. It's Ebontis basically everywhere. But right here on YouTube, if you did enjoy the video, drop a like below. Leave a comment to say, hey, have a question about anything. Again, if you do want to see the build, go figure. Sunshot. 
and Roar of the Bear tracking and rangefinder. And thanks to my Twitch chat, somebody got one of these with Cluster Bomb as well. So Iron Banner, when it comes back, try and get this thing if you can. Other than that, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for the support. Have yourself an awesome day. I will see you all soon and in the next video. Enjoy your day.